Um, in this problem, we have a horizontal bar which is fixed at point A on one side to the wall and is supported by a cable on the other side. And the cable is making an angle of theta with the bar. We are given the length of the bar L and the mass of the, uh, the weight of the bar. On the bar, we place a block of mass M and weight uh, W, for example. And we place it at the distance x from the wall. The question is, in part A, the question is, what is the maximum distance x that we can place the block at so that the cable doesn't break? If the maximum tension that the cable can withstand is T. So if it's more than T, the cable breaks. What is the maximum value of x that we can have for the wall? Um, well, let's start by drawing a free body diagram for the horizontal bar. So the free body diagram looks like this. So this is the bar, and now let's draw all the forces. So first of all, we have the weight of the bar itself, and because the bar is set to be uniform, the weight is acting from the center, pointing straight down. Let's call it W0. Then there is the weight of the block. at the distance x from the wall then there is a tension force pointing this way at an angle theta and then there is a reaction force from the hinge at point A now we don't know the actual direction of the force so we need to write its components so let's introduce x and y axis Let's say x is pointing this way and y is pointing this way. So it should have an ry component and an rx component. So rx and ry are the components of the total reaction force R. So now with the free body diagram, we are ready to write the conditions for static equilibrium. So the first condition is the sum of all forces equals zero. So let's look first at the uh, x component. So in the x direction, we, have, we only have Rx and the x component of tension. Rx is pointing in the positive direction, so it's just Rx x component of t is pointing in the negative x direction, so minus t and the x component is t cosine theta. So this is equal to zero. Now let's write down the condition for the y component. In the y, in the y direction we have ry pointing upwards in the positive direction. The y component of tension is also pointing in the positive direction and these two are pointing in the negative direction. So we have R1 plus T sine theta, the Y component of T, minus W0 and also minus W equals 0. Well, clearly this is not enough to answer the question, to find the maximum x. So we have to utilize our second condition for static equilibrium. The sum of all torques is equal to zero. Now we have to make a choice as to which point to use to calculate the torques. And obviously it should be this point, point A, because at this point we have two forces coming out and so the two torques will be zero for Rx and Ry. So we only need to worry about the torque 
created by tension plus torque created by W0 plus torque created by W and this is equal to zero. The torques created by these two forces with respect to point A are zero. Just as we did in the previous example, our positive direction is out of the board. So let's now look at the directions of these torques. This is the point about which we calculate torques. So the thumb should be pointing this way because the tension is pointing in the counterclockwise direction. So the tension, the torque created by the tension is pointing out of the board. The tension is pointing out of the board and these two you can convince yourself is pointing into the board and this one is also into the board. So which means that this will go with a positive sign. So tension times the arm. So how do we calculate the arm? Well, we need to draw the line of action for the force. This is the line of action. And now we drop a perpendicular from the point A to the line of action. And we need to find that distance. Well, if the, if the length of the bar is L, this distance is equal to L times sine theta. So torque created by tension is equal to T times L sine theta. Now what about W0? Well, force is pointing this way. Perpendicular from point A is this line and it's equal to L over 2. So we can say it's minus W0 L over 2. What about W? Well, it's the same thing. The only difference is that now it's at the distance X. So it's W X equals 0. From this equation you can calculate for x. So your x is equal to L T over W sine theta minus W0 over 2W. If you put the numbers in, this gives you 3.28 meters. So this is the maximum distance at which you can place block M so that the cable doesn't break. Now in part B, in part B we need to calculate for Rx and Ry components of the reaction force. And this can be calculated from the first two equations from here. So Rx is equal to T cosine theta. You can plug the numbers in and you get 441 Newton. And Ry is equal to W plus W0 minus T sine theta. Again, you just put the numbers in and you should get 188 newtons for the Y component. So these are the Rx and Ry components when the block is at its maximum allowed distance from the wall.